We are in the crazy Bangkok Chinatown for street food, obviously. And behind me, two historical seafood restaurants. One is called TNK Seafood, and then on the other side, there is Lek and Root. Inches from each other, battling for their life, trying to grab until the very last bit of tourists that passes by. I take no prisoners, so I'm gonna try both of them, and then I'm gonna work my way down Yawarat Road and try other street food stalls. Let's go. Okay, let's see the menu. You are not allergic to anything. No, I've got no allergy. What about you? No, I am allergic to seafood. So. You are allergic to seafood, really? Any seafood? Let's see if we can find someone to ask for a seat. Brilliant. Okay, so we find a table. Thank you. I already know what I want to eat. That's the one I want to try. I'm gonna get this Burmundi fish. It's a like a sea bass into a gar garlic and lemon soup. Yeah, I'm also gonna get some uh, grilled king prawns. And look at that guy, that guy is grilling them on the, flame grilling them on the, on the grill, well. It seems like we have already been served with a few dipping kind of sauce and it's a chili sauce, uh, green and one red. And some rice also, so right I'm gonna use this as a base for the, the fish. The fish went to the wrong table. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I think this fish is called Pla Kapong Nung Mana or something. And basically it's a steamed sea or Burmundi fish or steamed steam sea, sea bass in a river of lime juice and lemongrass and garlic. So let's dig in. Thank you. Okay, so the, the fish is ready. Let's get a big piece of Burmundi fish with some rice. I'm gonna grab some rice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and see what this thing is about. <laughs> How is it? It's really good. Oh my god. It's bubbly. <laughs> it's bubbly because if the flame underneath is kind of still cooking it and the, the fish is getting more and more soft, really garlicky. There's a lot of lemon flavor from the lime. This is limey juice actually. Cilantro as well. Yeah. The fish is a, extremely flaky, isn't it? Like, look at this. Kind of need to get some lime juice into it. I kind of need to pay attention to this thing because it's there are bonds. Let's put it into the rice. You kind of need to use the lime juice to, you know, um, make the rice better. So you like rice, huh? There's also some chili on top, which makes it very spicy. But the lime juice flavor is just amazing. So this huge piece of lemongrass was stuck into this fish head just to explain how they take things seriously here in terms of flavor. Thank you. Kabunga. Now look at this giant king prawn. Big prawns. These guys are really tasty. Look at this friend here. What do you do with the, the king prawn you dip into the sauce? And I think that's too much for you. <laughs> so it gets nice and spicy, okay. Uh, 500 bucks or something for the fish and the shrimps. Pretty okay. We are in the center of Chinatown. We're gonna go into a nearby restaurant and see what they are about. The competitors. Okay, just a couple of meters away. We've got this. So, Badika. Badika. Welcome to the barbecue. Thank you. So, what do you have here? Lots of seafood, huh? We got place for two. Yes, I have inside. The king brands are swimming into the Badika. You have the glass noodles with the shrimps. Glass noodles, yeah. Uh, she's not Thai. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, just this Filipino. Thai, <laughs> yes, this, this with, with, with shrimp with oh, the glass okay. noodle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know how? Huh? You know now how huh? the food, huh? I know the food. <laughs> I know the food. <laughs> yeah. Then obviously some water, seafood water. Never seen this before. And some ice. Fresh water. You kind of need this. Very hot in Chinatown today. And again, obviously we have got some uh, sauces. Same kind of chili sauce that you get in Thailand, pretty much everywhere. So the glass noodles have arrived and they are called Gung Ob Won Sen or something. They are made just with starch and water, like starch from either potato or tapioca or something. They're not rice noodles, they are starch noodles. They are very typical of Thailand, they are used for stir fries, for even for, for dumplings as well. And then you've got the shrimps underneath. And also some morning glory and cilantro sprinkled on the top. And actually the squid is also arrived. It's a beauty, isn't it? Just just grilled squid with some cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think you're supposed to dip into the sauce. Oops. Yeah, I like the taste actually. It's gonna be tasty, but too much spicy. The sauce. It's not been flavored or anything. You are supposed to dip into the sauce, but the sauce is very spicy. And I'm just gonna serve myself and put some glass noodles and some shrimp in my plate. And I think I'm ready to try these glass noodles right in the street of Chinatown. Uh, okay, let's try this glass noodles with shrimps. Mm. Very soft, a little bit bouncy texture. Uh, yeah, lots of shrimp flavor because I think they've been cooked and still fried with the, with the shrimp and it's really good and this is really just a grilled squid um, not expecting to find to be any different from the one that i just said but let's see let's compare the freshness between this restaurant and the previous one mm. it's good it's fresh fresh grilled um, king prawn is it glass noodles you want? No, or money? What does she want? It's better if she gets some food, right? Okay, there we go. Can you give her this 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 thing to this thing? Thank you. No, it's okay, it's okay. I've got I've got mine. Don't worry. No, don't worry. Come on, come. I think we are going down that way. 